What's up everybody, this is Zach Hample and it is time for part five of my Q&A video series. After I posted the last one, part four, I got bombarded with requests to do another one. Um, just to give you a few other examples. Please do a part five, this is so entertaining and you are the greatest YouTuber. Thank you, thank you. You are so cool, please do part five. Zach, please do a part five and you should continue this. By the way, you're my fave YouTuber. Thank you, Coupon Boy. Do a part five, it's funny seeing you get kind of triggered by the dumb cues, LOL. Are there that many dumb questions? I haven't really noticed, let's see. Enjoy your videos, thank you, thank you. But question for part five, why are you such a dick? No offense. How dare you ask me that? That, you know what, that really hurts my feet. I'll be okay. Let's just move on, all right? Will you be at the Nats 2018 All-Star Game? I hardly know what I'm doing two weeks from now, so let's not worry about 2018 yet. Let's just focus on this season. Zach, how many games do you think you will go to in the 2017 season? I've averaged about 100 games a year for the last six years, so let's say 100 again for 2017. Zach, how many baseballs do you think you are going to catch this upcoming season? I've averaged about seven balls per game, including batting practice, so I guess 700. I got, I think, 842 last year, so I mean, it could be a really big season. Maybe I'll break 800 again, but I'm not gonna get 1,000 or anything crazy. I really don't see that happening. Hey, Zach. Hey, Aiden. What are you looking forward to the most this upcoming season? That's a good question. I would say probably just the fact that I have a YouTube presence for the first time ever going into a Major League Baseball season is something really cool. I mean, this time last year, I had like 2,000 subscribers and wasn't really taking it seriously, didn't have a plan. And now I think I'm right around 67,000 subscribers, which is really cool. Um, so hopefully hitting 100,000 this year and just keeping the momentum going. That's what I'm looking forward to. Do you like potatoes? Yeah, man, of course. Who doesn't like potatoes? Do you think the Braves will make the playoffs? <gasps> no. Um, seriously, though, I think the Nationals and Mets will be battling it out for first and second place all year. Braves, not in 2017. Sorry. Hey, Zach, one question. What do you think of the Braves' new stadium? You know, I actually had a few people asking me that. Check it out. Thoughts on the design of the new Braves field? SunTrust Park. Have you looked at the layout of SunTrust Park in Atlanta? If so, how do you think it's gonna be for ball hawking? What do you think of SunTrust Park? Personally, it looks like a pain for ball hawking, but should look better than Turner Field. You are absolutely right. It's gonna be snazzy, very fancy, expensive, real pain in the ass for ball hawking. That's my quick opinion. I did a whole video analyzing and critiquing the stadium from a ball hawking perspective. I posted it earlier this winter. So if you haven't seen that, check it out. I will link to it in the description below this video. Zach, are you ever going to the new Brave Stadium? Yes, 100%, 2017, it's going to happen. Who do you like more, R.A. Dickey or Bartolo Colon? That's a no-brainer, the knuckleball is my favorite pitch by far, so R.A. Dickey all the way. Hey Zach, are you sick? Do I look sick? No, not that I'm aware of. Can you make a video at City Field in 2017? Yes, I really hope so. I tried last year, brought my videographer there. The day turned out so crappy that I just scrapped the whole video. So we'll give it another shot this year for sure and just hope it turns out better. Hey, can Jack from part three give me a shout out? Um, hang on a second, let me, let me see if he'll do that. Hey, yo, Jack, can you do me a favor? Sure, what's up? Would you be able to give someone a shout out in my YouTube video? Why can't you do it? He, well, he actually requested that you are the one to do it. His name is Daniel Portum. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, will you do it? Now? Yeah. Okay, Daniel, you must be really cool if you watch Zach's videos. Here's your shout out. <laughs> awesome, thanks a lot, Jack. All right, and um, there you have it. A shout out from Jack from part three. 
you haven't seen that video, check it out. And um, I will do three more shout outs at the end of the video, so keep watching. Maybe I picked yours. What made you go to Cuba? It was just a family vacation. I posted a couple videos from there earlier this month and I'll link to those in the description as well. I'm gonna make it really easy for you guys in case you missed all this stuff. One was a vlog, one was actually a, a separate little baseball video. But uh, I try to go away every winter somewhere with my mom and my half sister. We like to go someplace warm. And this time it was Cuba, pretty simple. The opportunity to visit there opened up and we did it. Hey Zach, how do you feel about dabs? Yeah, that's right there how I feel about dabs. Hey Zach, can you dab please? Thanks. Zach, can you dab on camera? Q&A Zach, can you dab? No, I certainly cannot dab. Can you dab? Oh my God. Okay, if I do this quickly, will you leave me alone about it and never ask again? All right, here we go. I can't believe I'm doing this. All right, anything for you guys, evidently. All right, jeez, enough of that. Do you still have the Pyramid Ball collection? No, that was something I just basically built and took down in the same day with a bunch of friends. I'll link to that video as well in the description. And if you watch that video through the little social media title screen at the end, you'll see that my friends actually tackled me onto the pyramid and the balls went flying everywhere. It was pretty rowdy and fun. Zach, do you think you'll ever make a bigger pyramid of baseballs? I hope so. The last pyramid had, I believe, 6,000, was it 6,201? 6,401? It was something like that. I said it in the video. I would like to do a pyramid that has more than 10,000 balls, but of course I give away so many balls that I'll have to snag, you know, 15,000 lifetime before I actually own 10,000, you know what I mean? So, someday, stay tuned. Zach, do you think the Reds can win the World Series? Let me think about that, no. Zach, do you think the Miami Dolphins will win the Super Bowl in 2020? Um, I, I have no idea, man, I, I don't follow hockey. Can you put this in a video? Sure. Which of your videos do you think will be the first to reach a million views? I hope you make it. Thank you, Harry. I guess just from a numbers perspective, uh, I did two videos last year in Cincinnati at Great American, and one of those videos for some reason just did really well. I don't know if it was embedded on some really popular website or what, but last time I looked it had 578,000 views, so that's the most out of any of my videos. I'll link to that one as well. And you guys can all help me get to a million by watching that video and recommending it to everybody you know, right? We'll get to a million together. Zach, what was the point of the beard stripes? I mean, I liked it, but no one else did. Oh, really? Q&A, why did you shave your cool beard? Oh, in your face! Um... You know, the beard stripes, I admit it was kind of stupid, but it was like funny, maybe cool, stupid. I don't know. I don't want to get a tattoo because you, you have that for life, basically. And I don't like pain. I don't want to get anything pierced. So if I want to just play around with how I look, I got to do hair. And, you know, we already talked about my baldness in a previous video. Remember that? So if I'm going to play with my hair, it's got to be on the face. And uh, that was pretty much it. What's your next beard style? See, pe people want this. People like the beard stripes. Should I bring back the beard stripes? Or should I do like, I had a half beard once. I mean, I don't know, I didn't like that as much. But the next beard style, we'll see. I don't think I'll do it during the season. I like to look youthful so that players will be more likely to throw me baseballs. But I don't know, maybe if I had beard stripes, they'd be like, look at that freak. We feel sorry for him. We gotta hook him up with some baseballs. I don't know, something to consider. Hey, Zach, what do you think about the new intentional walk rule? I had a few people ask me this as well. What are your thoughts on the new rule concerning intentional walks? Hi, Zach, I love your videos, thanks. I was wondering what you think of the new intentional walk rule. I don't like it. I think that it's important for the games to speed up and have a better pace, but if you take something that can produce really quirky, unexpected results every once in a while, even if it's once out of a thousand times. I mean, we've all seen it 
wild pitches on intentional walks where runs score. Uh, Gary Sanchez last year reached out and, and hit an intentional walk pitch almost out of the stadium, got a sack fly. I mean, you're removing the oddball occasional event that can happen to, what, shave 30 seconds off a game or every other. It's just like, I don't know. I the MLB has good intentions with that rule, but I, I don't actually like it myself. If you do a part five, are you sexy? Oh, and also that same person asked, for part five, is your girlfriend hot? So the answer is yes and yes. I am extremely sexy. I mean, just, just look at this, right? And so as a result, I only date people who are hot. Zach, will you be posting game videos like you did last year? Absolutely. Love the channel, been following you on your blog since 2009 as a fifth grader, and now as I'm getting ready to graduate, you are still an inspiration to me, and your love of baseball has rubbed off on both my brother and I, and has made us closer. Thank you for everything. Keep up all the great work. Um, thank you so much. I love hearing stuff like that. Um, I really, I can't even begin to describe how meaningful that is to me, so thank you for letting me know. I'm gonna do one more nice random comment that I got and then three shout outs and then that's it. So look at this one. Not many people can make Q&A videos this entertaining. Keep up the good work. And let's see, shout out time. Hey Zach, can I please have a shout out? I've asked in the comments on all your Q&A videos and also I'm a huge fan. So Saudi Wonder Vlogs, Thank you for watching, thank you for commenting. Here is a shout out, I hope you appreciate it, I hope you enjoy it, and I certainly appreciate having you as a fan. Hey Zach, greetings from Germany. What's up? Your videos animated me to start playing baseball myself and make it more popular among my friends and family here in Germany. Keep it up. Any chance for a shout out in your next Q&A? Absolutely. Till Gross, is that? Your name? I never heard of a first name Till, but I'll assume that is. So, dude, that's awesome. Thanks for watching from so far away and spreading the love of baseball. Uh, again, I just, I really appreciate hearing stuff like that, and I'm glad that these videos have an impact on people all over the world, really. Zach, you didn't do my shout out, but that's fine. You are still a huge person in my life. Thanks for everything you have done for me. That is very kind of you to say, TCM trick shots, I appreciate that. You know, not not getting what you wanted, at least not initially, but but still saying something nice to me. So, really cool. Uh, thank you to everybody for watching. I am really excited for this season to get started. It's gonna be a big one. Lots of games, lots of stadiums, lots of videos. Hopefully gonna catch my 10,000th ball. Got some other big things in the works. So, stay tuned.